Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. This is episode number nine of my Topaz Studio 2 Creative Toolbox series. We're starting out with this really cool image right here. And by the way, I'll link it in the description below so you can download it and follow along with me. It's a great way of learning. But we're starting out right here with this sweet little bird image. And we're going to end up with this nice painting right here. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to use a lot of different uh, filters inside of Topaz Studio too. Hey, stick with me the whole way through. You'll learn a lot. And without any further ado, let's get creating. Isn't this just a sweet little spring image here? This cute little bird here. He's so sweet. Uh, anyway, what I did was duplicated the background layer, sent it up into Topaz Denoise, and there was just a slight bit of noise in it. And I figured... We'll get rid of that noise. It'll soften it up a little bit. I even went a little overboard on the denoising just to soften that background up a little bit more and just added a little bit of sharpening to it. And now we're going to send it up into Topaz Studio 2, the Creative Toolbox, and we'll get started. We're going to start by adding a filter, an abstraction filter. I love this filter here. I'm just going to pull the simplify size, simplify size up to like around a 40 here. And don't worry about the bird because I'm going to mask the uh, simplify off the bird. And But I like the background. It's looking really good. So now we're just going to come up and grab a layer mask. And we'll get a brush. And make sure you're painting with black paint. We can leave the edge wear on here. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller on the radius here. And let's just take the simplify off the bird. And I think the, the branch that he's sitting on as well, we're going to take it off of that too. You don't have to be too careful here on the mask, but we'll get it done here. Make my brush a little bit smaller and take it off the beak right there. And now we'll make it a little bigger, bigger, smaller. Make up your mind, Dave. I'm going to take it off this branch, call it its perch right here. And maybe this little section right here on the bird. So there's that nice soft background. Let's toggle this uh, abstraction layer off. So there's the before and there's the after. Just a little bit of softening. We have our nice little bird looking good. So let's add filter. Let's come to another filter here, AI Remix. I'm really starting to enjoy this filter. It will remap your images to different types of art, okay? And I just go through and pick out different... Um, different presets here till I find the one I like. And I stumbled upon this one called Baby Blues. So I click that on and I changed its style strength. So right now it's on low. Watch when I click it on high. It'll, it'll become more defined. See that? Really cool. And then what I did was I pulled its opacity back to, I think, right around a 0.33 right there. Now I'm going to take it off the bird. And I also think the saturation is a little bit too high. So I pulled the saturation back to around a 0.53 right there and I'm liking that what I'm going to do is mask it off the bird as I just said I'm going to right click on this layer mask and copy it and come to the AI remix layer mask uh, right click and paste the mask now I'm just going to grab a brush make sure I'm painting with black paint transparencies on zero readjusting my radius size and I want to clean up the edges of the bird see those little fringings around there I'm just cleaning that up and uh, you know, you'll see me varying my transparency a little bit. I'm going to add some of that effect back onto the uh, perch itself, which is a reduced amount of uh, transparency. And now there's a little bit of brown area right there. I'm just cleaning that up using white paint just to clean that up. And just, you know, I just want it to look good. And I'm fixing the beak right here. And now I think we're good to go. Next, we're going to add another filter. This time, it will be an impression filter. And I decided upon Type 03 brush right here. And um, I have my strokes on medium. And my brush size, I reduced it down to like a 0.35. See the little white fleck showing through there? All you do to get rid of that is come the whole way down to texture and just uh, change your background from solid to original and that cleans that right up now what i'd like to do is take a little bit of that painterly effect off this bird and if you'll recall when i 
was on this abstraction layer. I copied that mask, so it's still on my buffer. So if I come up to the layer mask here and right click it, I can click on paste mask and it pastes it on. Now it took all the painterly effect off, right? So what I want to do is, this is very important, make sure you're on the layer mask here and click on adjust. This is a really cool little trick here. Come down to where it says density and drag it to the right and watch what happens. Watch this black mask start to turn more gray and the effect will start to ease off on my bird. You see that? So if I take it the whole way to the right, it turns white. If I pull it back, see, I can just let as much of that painterly show through as I want. This is a really nice little tip, and I'm thinking maybe right there looks nice. Let's toggle the impression layer off. Okay, that's just with the AI Remix, and now on. But look how cool that's looking. Kind of reminds me of like an Oriental Japanese type painting. Looks really cool. All right, so I want to add a little different style of painterly effect to the bird. So I'm going to come up and add another filter. Let's do another impression filter. I'm not going to do anything to the filter here. I'm not making any adjustments. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to be on typo one. So actually nothing there. And the only thing I need to do is come up to the layer mask, click on it. Let's invert the layer mask. And now we're going to get a brush tool. And let's pull our transparency slider the whole way to the right till it says one. That gives us white paint. And I'm going to pull my radius up a little bit here. And uh, I, I'm going to leave my edge of wear off. And I'm just going to paint like a painter here and just paint painterly effects on the bird wherever I think I want it. I definitely want to put it around the edges of the bird to soften up all those edges like that. I think it looks nice. And you don't have to paint over the entire bird if you don't want to, but just the areas you think will look good. I'm going to paint down here a little bit. What I'll do is reduce my transparency to, to like a more of a gray tone and just paint over this part of the bird. So it won't be as strong there. So you can vary your strokes here, you know, change your transparency as you go along. Now, I'm going to change the transparency a little, yeah, maybe right there, still gray, and paint over his eye. Because I want, I want that eye to look painterly, but yet I don't want it to be, um, you know, like from the photograph. Okay, right there. I think that looks really nice, and I think I'm going to be satisfied with that right there. Now, let's toggle on and off this there. Just watch the bird. That's all it's going to be affected. So here's the before, and here's the after. Now, we could stop right here and call this done if we wanted to, but heck, why should we do that? Let's have some fun. Let's, let's take our time and do something a little bit different. So let's come and add another filter. This time, let's add a texture filter. Now, in here... I added a filter called, I'm going to click on the search here. It was called Blue, and you can just type in the name of it, Blue Frizz, Frizzell or something like that. And it's this guy right here, Blue Frizzell. And already that's looking pretty cool. I left the blend mode on normal and pulled the opacity back, I think, to like a 0.24. I touched none of the other adjustments. So normally you see me moving all kind of adjustments around and things like that. But I thought, hey, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And that looks awesome. I don't really want the texture on the bird. So what I can do is that mask should still be in my buffer. I'm going to right click the mask here and click paste mask. And right there, it's pasted on. Now, I can do that little trick and come to adjust. And let's see what happens if we let a little bit of that texture come over the bird by adjusting this density here. Just to kind of marry it into the image. Just a very slight amount. Just like that. Ooh, that really looks nice. I'm at that stage of the editing process where I'm just sitting back, taking a look at the image and saying, is there anything I need to fix? And one thing I think I do need to fix is I think our little bird is a little bit too saturated. So what I'll do is get another filter and it's going to be a hue HSL color tuning filter. I'm going to click on yellow and what I'll do is pull back its um, saturation to like, I don't know, like around wherever I think it looks good actually, which is going to be going to be right right there. I just want to marry it and maybe just, I'm going to give them a little more, you know, decisions, decisions, decisions. I think right there looks good. And then we could even play with the hue a little bit. We can shift the hue of that yellow. You know, we can make that bird blue or whatever color we want to make them. 
But I think I'm going to make him this color right here, right there, right around a 0.11 or 0.12, I think that looks good. Let's uh, click on the HSL uh, layer here. Here's the before, and here's the after. But just tones them down a little bit, you know, because the image is kind of muted in color, so I don't want my bird too strong there. Now I'd like to add a little bit of sketchy quality to this image here. And what I'm gonna do is get a precision detail filter, and I'm just gonna leave it on overall. I'm not gonna do too much here. I'm going to take the me or the small detail up to around like a 0.19 and it's over the whole image but I'm going to mask it only in strategic places the medium up to around a, a 35 somewhere in there and the large up to like a 43 I'm going to take it up a good bit here and just look at the branches and things like that this is going to be around a 43 okay so we're going to come up to the layer mask right click it and no we're not going to right click it we're going to click on it see i mess up and now we're going to come to the three dots click here and invert it now it's off of the entire image now we're just going to paint it on wherever we want let's go ahead and click on the paintbrush and let's take our transparency up the whole way to the right which is a one which gives us white paint let us take our let's take our edge aware off and let's pull our radius back and i'm just going to start with this little flower right here and give him a little paint isn't that cool and maybe this flower up in here i'm just looking for certain areas that i want to draw your eye to okay that's a little strong right there so i'm going to take the transparency way back and just paint off of there see that now I'm gonna take my transparency this time I think I'll take it to around an 80 and let's just paint back this way paint a little bit of detail here everything doesn't have to have detail on it but just just follow me out here like that you know I can leave these guys maybe I'll pull it back here so vary your transparencies okay and that's really gonna to help to you know just just mix it up a little bit and even off here as it goes off give it a little detail and I already painted that one let's come and give it some more take it more to white and let's paint on his little perch right down here uh, look he stands out on his little perch isn't that cute now this big branch right here, I'm going to take the transparency and pull it back towards dark and make my radius larger and just paint on this right here. That way it won't be as strong as the perch he's sitting on. See that? Isn't that cool? And let's go ahead and increase our transparency. Let's paint this flower over here. Nice. Maybe paint across here. Paint up through here a little bit. And now let's make our brush smaller and let's paint across this branch right here. Let it stand out a little bit. Come the whole way up into here and just paint away. And let's see. Let's paint at this strength across this branch right here and see what we get. That's not bad. Let's paint over here. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a little too strong, so just ease off in the transparency. Make the radius a little bit bigger. Paint over that again. And tone it down, just like so. Maybe get this one here. Get this area right here a little bit. And maybe up here. You know, just pick out some different parts that you want to bring up. And did I paint? I didn't paint anything over here. So let's go ahead and pull the radius down a little bit. Let's paint up through here and over to here. Yeah, just let that stand out. Maybe down through here. And I'm again, what I'm trying to do is get that little bit of a sketchy look on the image. And, and then just take some time and study it and see if you need to add any more. Did I get this up here? I like it. Take a look at that crazy mask. Now let's toggle this uh, precision detail off and on. 
And if we felt we went too much, again, always come to the opacity. Let's take it the whole way off. And now let's just build it up slowly. And stop at the point where you say, Yeah, man, that looks really great. I'm happy with it. Yeah, right there, 0 0.72, uh, 0.76, a little bit more. And let's toggle it again, off and on. We're almost done. I just like to darken the edges a little bit, so I'm going to grab a filter called Edge Exposure, which is right here. I love this filter. I'm going to start with the left edge, and it's checked on right here. You can see it. Move this left exposure to the right, darken it up just like that. Now let's go to the right. I might just darken it a little bit. I'm going to go to the bottom edge. Darken it. Okay. And now the top. Okay. And now I'm going to take the uh, opacity. Again, the whole way off. And let's just build it up slowly. And we don't want it to look like we've done too much to those edges. But we just want to take our viewer into the center of the frame. Onto our little birdie. Let's toggle it. Here is off and here is on. Well, I think we're done here with Topaz Studio 2. So let's go ahead and click accept if we're really happy with it. And I, I am. I'm going to click accept. And that's going to send me right back into Photoshop. And now let's click on this uh, Topaz Denoise AI layer, which has now become the Topaz Studio 2 layer. And here is the before and here is the after. Now we can sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. This was a fun little ride. I really enjoyed this, man. We threw everything at this thing. Uh, Topaz Studio 2, the creative toolbox. Gosh, we used AI Remix, which remapped the image to give us this more painterly, sketchy look here. Some simplification to it. The abstraction filter uh, gave us that. And then we added a couple different impression filters, some textures some edge exposure, some precision detail just to pop some details out on the branches and flowers and things like that. And there it is. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this today. And if you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, yes, you will be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with me, Dave Kelly. Thank you very much. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.